Hello, it's Professor Stee, working on our Audrey 2 Maya project. This video will talk about how we're getting UV maps that look like this out into Photoshop so we can paint things that look like that. Okay. Now, I spent a long time on that, but the basic idea is to make sure that your UVs are laid out on your character in a way that is very easy to understand and then when you come in here to image UV snapshot you're gonna select that but re be mindful of having selected them so Maya knows which ones you wanna put out image UV snapshot now this dialog box is pointing towards my default directory that's that looks good I set mine to PNG. Let's just reset. Reset. Huh. I'm going to make mine a PNG. I'm going to make my size 2048. It's doing it default because that's the size map I made. The edge color, I suggest doing something dark so it stands out. And let's give this a name. I'm going to call this demo, or we'll put YouTube, just so that we know that this indeed is the right file. Applying close. Let's move this aside. We'll go to Photoshop. We'll go File Open. Now we go up to the Images folder. Out YouTube, there we go, PNG. And there's your UV map for painting. We'll add a layer. Hit G, you see it's white. You can do your own style painting. I'm, I'm uh, going to just let you know, I basically lay in color as flats here. Make sure they're very stark. I usually do a color dynamics, so I blend it between another color that's a little bit similar, but maybe a little more bluish, greenish. So they're just a little bit different. So when you start when you start adjusting your hue, saturation, and brightness, and jittering between the two, you'll get something that's a little varied. So that's just a good place to start, something like that, to get your leaves looking a little more realistic in terms of variation. This is Professor Steeg, signing off. Take care. Bye.